everybody, it is Mr. Webb, and now that school is back in session, we're gonna do some more animal videos. And today's, I know it looks like a chipmunk that you saw at the beginning of the video, but it is not a chipmunk, it is a 13 line ground squirrel. Now, yes, it has lines on his back, but that doesn't mean it has 13, it's just kind of a name they have given it, but it doesn't guarantee that it has 13 lines. So, I mean, I guess it has a lot of lines. Some of them may have 13, but not every one of them has 13 lines. But that's our animal for today. The 13 line ground squirrel lives in the northern two thirds of Illinois. So it lives in the northern parts. The video I got today was actually outside of my in-laws house in Champaign, Illinois. They live where there's short grass. So they have to be able to see over the grass because they're only average about four and a half to six inches long. And they live in like parks, yards, and a lot of places where they, can, they have to be able to see over the grass. They are active mostly on sunny days and midday. So during the day, you should see them. Um, if you don't see them, they're in the ground. They live in burrows. That's why they're called a ground squirrel. They actually hibernate there in the winter and they store food and they build a nest inside that burrow. And when they're in that burrow in the winter, they actually plug up the entrance. So it probably keeps it warm down low. A cool fact about their hibernation, their normal heart rate is 200 beats per minute. But in hibernation, their heart can actually slow down to 20 beats per minute, which is, if you do the math, that is a lot less. I'll let you do the math for practice. So what they eat, they eat seeds. They love seeds. They love seeds so much that scientists even give them a scientific name, spermophilus. So that means seed lover. So I'm not sure if I said it right, but it means seed lover. They love seeds of wheat, corn, and crops. So you see them a lot around crop areas. So I mean, in Central Illinois, you have a lot of corn and beans and things. So they eat well in that area. They don't just eat seeds. Sometimes they will eat insects, bugs, and things that are small they can get a hold of. But mostly it's just seeds. Predators. Uh, they have predators such as snakes and birds of prey. So like hawks, uh, owls, and things that eat small mammals and possibly coyotes if they're around as well. Because they are so small and they have predators, up to 90% of the new parts don't make it. But there's still a lot of them. They're not in danger or anything, but they have a slim chance to live for a long time. And the adults usually only live to be a couple years old. They can communicate by warning each other, kind of like prairie dogs. It's not a bark, it's a high-pitched, kind of like a chirping sound. And they, look like prairie dogs when they stand on their hind feet, but they don't live in colonies. And they, there's about one to 20 per acre. So they live close together, but they don't live together. They have their own little burrows. Another cool way they communicate is by leaving a scent from their mouth. They have secretion from their mouth. They'll, they'll rub their mouth on different things and they'll leave their scent around so others can find it. And also, you can think this is kind of gross or you can think it's cute, but they greet each other by rubbing their noses together or their lips. So it's almost like they greet each other with a kiss. For more information on the 13 line ground squirrels, obviously you can look on the internet or Google it, but for Illinois specifically, go to www.illinois.gov slash DNR slash education, and then you can type in lots of different animals, not just the 13 line ground squirrel, but you can check that website out here at the bottom and uh, see what else you can learn about 13 line ground squirrels. At the end of this video, I know you're gonna wonder how did he get so close to the 13 line ground squirrel. I will give you my secret on this one. I wouldn't recommend it because your parents might be like, hey, pick up your phone, don't leave it on the ground. But I saw him going to the gutter, so I knew he was in there. So I laid my phone down and left it out there for about 20 minutes and he did all the work for me. So check out this cool video and I will see you next week.